Hey everybody, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a rear view boat mirror from SEPA. This is going to be a suction cup mounted style, so we can put this on the glass of our windshield, or if you have a non-porous surface on your boat, you can also attach it to that. What this is going to do is this is going to eliminate the need to kind of turn around and look at your skiers and go back and forth. That's just not the safest setup. So this allows you to keep looking forward, but also keep an eye on whoever you've got in the water back there, or just in general, just having better visibility in your surroundings. So I was kind of wondering if this was gonna hold up, and I've been moving this around quite a bit, and it's doing a good job of holding in place. Now, you wanna make sure you've got a nice clean surface. Now, when it comes to the suction cut mount style versus the style that mount up onto the windshield frame, I like the versatility of getting that moved around and it gives me a little bit more height because I'm a taller guy so I need to sit up a little bit higher but this is going to I think it's going to hold up to those vibrations a little bit better than this style up here and it's not that you're not getting the same vibrations in the glass there I just think that the mounting style is a little bit more secure and this just seems a little stiffer than some of those other ones I've tested out even from SEPA so I think that this is still going to be a really good option I think it's going to cut down on some of those vibrations that you're going to get out of those other styles. This one also has a lot more range of motion versus some of the others. You can see how much this pivots around. I think that's really nice being able to have that flexibility. That way, you know, you're already limited with where you can mount this, having a nice smooth surface. This kind of helps you out in getting that proper vantage point that you're looking for. Now, when we're talking about the size of this mirror, we're going to have a pretty good size mirror. This is going to be eight inches by four inches. This isn't the largest mirror that we offer, but I think this size is kind of ideal for me. It gives me really good visibility behind me, but it doesn't really block a lot of everything up front. So especially in this point right here, I'm kind of sitting up above the windshield, but I can easily look down and see this, but I'm not really blocking much out front. First thing we need to do is we need to find a spot. I think I'm going to keep mine over here. I need to just clean this off a little bit, give us a nice spot. We can do the whole window if you want, but I'm gonna just do this spot for now. And then we can take our mirror. We can just Press that in place, and you can see it holds in place nicely. I'm adjusting this, and it's still holding on. So this is maybe a little low, so I'll pull that little tab. I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher, and that's a little bit better. Now this is, you know, like we said earlier, this is the thing. You're kind of limited with the suction cup style. so. This is maybe sitting a little low for my taste, um, but if you had a windshield that was a little bit higher, I think this would still be good. Or if you have a better spot somewhere where you can mount it to a different surface, that's also an option as well. But overall, I think it's actually a pretty nice mirror. Um, I was not thinking it was gonna be that great with the suction cup style. Now, I've not tested this out, out on the water in different conditions when it comes to heat or humidity, but so far, it seems like it holds up pretty good. I like the adjustability. The size of it's really nice, and I think it's going to come in handy when you're out on the water. But that's going to do it for our look at the SEPA rearview boat mirror.